remember these things. These are my firewood pallets. I built 12 of these two years ago with the idea that I could have tiny firewood sheds that were mobile. I could pick these up empty, take them to where I just felled a tree or where a bunch of firewood needed to be taken care of, stack them right there, then pick them up and put them out of the way somewhere and not have to restack wood and minimize the hassle. Well, as you may be able to surmise from the weeds grown up around this one, it's been decidedly more static than originally envisioned. The entire idea was predicated on forks having some thing that acts as a forklift to pick these things up and move them around. Well, it's been two years and I haven't made that thing. The plan is to make a set of forks that attach to the excavator. I'm imagining something with four foot long steel forks and a couple of lugs in the center that can pin on to the excavator arm where the bucket goes. So I can remove the bucket, use the pins on the excavator to attach this thing and then have two forks that I have full range of arm motion with. I got side shift and up and down and I kind of load a truck bed that's up high or I can pick something up off the ground or what have you. Also in my head, I kind of imagine an alternate attachment mechanism because removing the bucket and pinning something else on there is kind of a pain. And I don't have a quick changer or anything fancy. I've just got two inch and three eighths pins that have to be removed and the new thing has to be lined up and the new pins have to go in. So it would be cool if there was a way to attach it to the blade on the excavator. Uh, the downside of that is way less range of motion and it's not ideal. Uh, the, the blade rotates up and down. It doesn't even translate. So the forks will be pointed down and as it raises, they'll change angle. But I think I can make that work. I think that's, that's something we, that can be worked around. It won't be able to go up high. It won't be able to side shift. It won't be able to do anything fancy. But if I just, if one pallet needs to move, I don't have to take off the bucket and do all that work. That's the idea. So that's kind of what I'm imagining. Something like this. This is what I'm picturing. Pins onto the excavator arm where the bucket usually goes. Two four foot forks. And then this stuff back here, these profiles, the idea is they engage with the top of the blade And then these accept chains, so I can quickly wrap chains around and drop them into these horseshoes. And that'll support tension when it's on the blade. It's a pretty simple thing. There's a lot of pieces, but there's no moving parts. It's just one welded steel thing. There's a lot of parts to make, a lot of welding to do, which means it should be a fun project.